Welcome to this video. We're going to learn how to use velocity time graphs to calculate things like acceleration and displacement. So here's a problem number four. This is in your notes. This is on page 32. Here it is. Renata Gas did it again. She failed to fill up her tank during the last four weeks. The velocity time graph below represents the six seconds leading up to her car stopping. This is a pun. Run out of gas. Run out of gas. I wish I could take credit, but this is actually coming from the physics classroom. Okay, use the graph to determine first the acceleration of Renata's car over the six seconds. So look at this. We've got six seconds. We're considering the entire length, and we have to find her acceleration during that segment. Acceleration is equal to the slope of a velocity time graph. This is a velocity time graph. It's velocity against time. So slope equals acceleration for all such graphs. And we've proved that together in class. So to find the slope, to find the acceleration, you get two points, find their coordinates, and use the slope formula. This point is at the x value of 0, so 0 seconds, comma, the y value, if you look at it, it was right here. It's 15, 16, 17, 18 meters per second is the y value. And down here, what's our data point? The x value is 6 seconds. I'm just going to leave off the sig figs and just do 6s right now. And what's the y value? Well, the y value is 0. We haven't gone up or down. So 0 meters per second. So for the slope, you do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're taking, what are we taking? y2, that's 0 minus 18. So 0 meters per second minus 18 meters per second over x2, 6 minus x1. So 6 seconds minus 0. When you calculate this out, you're going to have negative 18 over 6. And that's going to come to a value of negative 3.00. And what are the units? The units are, well, the numerator is in meters per second. The denominator is in seconds. So you can write the units as meters per second per second like this, or you can write that as meters per second squared. Next, we find the displacement during these six seconds. So it's the displacement for the entire period shown, all six seconds here. So how do we find displacement? Well, we've learned that when we're dealing with a velocity time graph, the area under the curve, as we call it, is equal to the displacement, delta x, the displacement, the change in position. So what is exactly, what is the area under the curve? The area under the curve, if you look at the line, here's my line, or curve, as it's sometimes called, even when it's straight, it still can qualify like as a curve. And then you find your x-axis, here's my x-axis, and the area under the curve is really just the area between the line and the x-axis. So it's this area. Why am I using yellow? You can't see that at all. Let me use pink. Can you see this? So this is the area we need to calculate. This is a triangle, you see. So we can use the triangle formula. Area of a triangle is 1 half base height. And that area, 1 half base height, gives us the displacement. If you wanted, you could find just the area uh, for the first two seconds. You could use like the rhombus uh, formula and find that area, and then you would have her displacement during the first two seconds. But we want the displacement during the entire time, so the full triangle, this whole area. Okay, so one half base times height. The base of this triangle, 
Well, the triangle starts over at 0 seconds, and it extends all the way to 6 seconds. So the base is from 0 to 6. The base is 6 seconds long. The height of the triangle goes from 0 all the way up to 18. So the height is 18 meters per second tall. When we multiply this all out, half of 18 times 6, well, half of 18 is 9. 9 times 6 is 54. The units are meter, uh, seconds times meter per second. So we've got seconds over seconds. The seconds cancel. And that leaves us with a unit of meters. The displacement came out positive, by the way. Displacement came out positive. Okay, part C. Is Renata traveling in the positive direction or in the negative direction during these six seconds? How do you know? There are two ways to think about this. Remember, positive is uh, going to be to the... She's going on a road, so she's moving on the x-axis. Here's the x-axis. Um, and she's either going to the right or she's going to the left. On our x-axis, to the right is positive, left is negative. Look at this, her displacement was positive. So if the car, let's say the car was here, it slows down, but it ends up farther right as it slows. So it goes from here over to here, positive 54 meters of displacement. So you know the car is going to the right, because the displacement is positive. But there's another way that you know the car is going to the right. There's something else that indicates rightward, dis uh, rightward direction. If you look back at this graph, all of our velocities, let me clear out the graph so you see the original, All of Renata's velocities, if you look at these, uh, the data points on this line, every single velocity here is positive. So right here, she's only going 5 meters per second. She's gotten slower, but she's still going positive 5 meters per second. Up here, she was going positive 15. She was going faster, but she was still going positive in the right rightward direction. Down here at 1 meter per second, Right, right right, here, at this moment in time, she's only going positive one meter per second. But she's still going in the positive direction because her velocity is still positive. So you know that she's moving to the right because all velocities, all of her velocities are positive.